Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have a super fun video for you guys today. So Glam Glow has teamed up with the artist Astrid Voss this holiday season to create custom packaged artwork for the Paint the Town holiday set. The set I have here is called the Paint the Town set and it offers seven shades of firming fun. Included in the set are seven gravity mud treatments, stencils, a painter's palette, and a long black handle brush. What I really love about this collection is that it's very reminiscent of what a painter would use to create art and I think it just inspires that creativity and makes masking so much more fun. So overall the concept I am really loving when it comes to the set. And the fun part is we are gonna create art on our face while also firming and tightening our skin with these treatments. What's super awesome and very special about this video is that I have partnered up with Glam Glow to show you all the art of glowing skin and I'm gonna be following that up with a festive holiday look that I hope you all will love. And now if you guys are ready, I think it's time to get into the set and create something on our face. So let's do it. So let me first tell you what you are getting in this set. You're gonna be getting seven tubes, which equal 30 milliliters of product, and 30 milliliters equals almost four full-size jars of the Gravity Mud. And the set retails for $89, so I think that's an amazing deal. You are getting so much product in this set. If you're wondering about all seven of the Gravity Mud tubes, they are all the same product, they're just in different shades, so you can apply these throughout the face evenly. Which I think is really nice because you can apply any of these all over the face and then add your designs on top. So we need to talk about the ingredients in this product because they just give me Christmas vibes and they sound so delicious. So the ingredients you're gonna be getting in this product are Tioxy Complex Licorice, Marshmallow Leaf Mud, and Canadian Glacier Clay. So all of those mega targeted ingredients work together to make the skin feel firmer and look more defined. Like all of Glam Glow's products, this product defies gravity with out of this world peel off mud treatments, which I'm so excited to share with you guys. So after using this set, it's instantly gonna make our skin feel firmer and look more lifted with the licorice and marshmallow leaf ingredients, which I am very, very excited about and I cannot wait to put these on my face. So let's do it. Before we get into the mask, I'm gonna pop on the Glam Glow Wet Lip Mask, and this is one of my all-time favorite lip masks that there is. I like putting these on while I mask because I do sometimes get chapped lips, and this is so hydrating by the time your mask comes off. Your lips are gonna feel so amazing. So now for the fun part, I'm gonna take the Gravity Muds and squeeze a little bit of each into this little painter's palette and just apply them to the face. Got my brush, I got my masks, all my colors are here, and now it's time to get creative and create something really pretty on the face. So I'm gonna go in for the gold first. I also wanted to mention to you guys, I started this look with fresh, clean skin, so make sure that your face is freshly cleansed and you have no foundation on or anything like that. All right, you guys, so now that I have my mask on, I'm gonna wait 20 to 30 minutes until it's fully dry, and then I'm gonna peel this whole thing off. It has been 30 minutes, and I'm gonna start peeling off the mask, and I like to start at the edge of the mask, just so I can get a nice peel going. All right, so the mask is off and my skin feels nice and firm. And I feel like it looks a lot firmer too. I also wanted to mention to you guys, after you remove the mask, if you do have a little bit of extra of the gravity mud on your skin, like a little excess, you can rinse that off with warm water and then move on to if you're applying makeup after. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. We're gonna be doing a holiday look. I am so excited for Christmas. And this is like my first holiday look of the season. So we're gonna be doing a gold eye and a red lip, really easy if you're going to like a holiday party. And I think this mask set is so nice for if you're getting ready for a party because it really does make your skin look the best that it possibly can and it just kind of lifts the face 
and it feels really nice and firm to the touch so I overall really enjoyed the paint the town holiday set and it was really fun to use like to create all these designs on my face. I also wanted to give you guys a quick tip if you are applying the stencils like I did in this video applying them over the mask you want to make sure when you touch the skin that the mask is dry so there's no tackiness to it so when you place it down and you lift off the stencil it doesn't take the mask off underneath. So just make sure that you are checking to make sure the mask is dry before you apply the stars. You can use the stencils without anything underneath. You can use unbare skin and do stars all over the face. There's so many different ways you can do this. There's no right or wrong way. I think that's what makes it super fun and what makes a really cool set is you can be really creative and do whatever you want on your face. So to start out this holiday look, our skin is prepped and ready with the mask, but we are gonna be priming and I am using my favorite primer right now. And just so you guys know, all the products I'm about to use are from Sephora so you could find them there and I will also have them listed in the description box. But this is just a hydrating primer, so pick up your most hydrating primer that you have and apply that to your skin, and those are typically my favorite to use. This is kind of like a primer and moisturizer in one. It's so good. Just gonna work that into my skin with my fingertips. Now I'm gonna be applying a full coverage foundation and I love full coverage for holiday looks because it just gives a really glam effect to the look. Rather than like dewy skin, which I also really love, I just feel like matte full coverage skin is holiday to me. So I'm just gonna apply a bit of this and before I do that, I almost forgot, I am going to apply an oil to my skin because my skin feels really good whenever I have an oil underneath a matte foundation. So I typically always do a little bit of oil before I do my foundation. And this is the Glam Glow Star Potion. This is a liquid charcoal clarifying oil and this also protects your skin from the environment, which I love. And it is black in the tube, but when you apply it to the skin, it disappears into a clear shade. You need the tiniest bit of this, like barely nothing. So this is really gonna deeply hydrate our skin before we go in with that matte foundation. Also, if you love dewy skin, this is gonna give you an amazing base. If you don't wear a lot of foundation, this makes your skin look so juicy and glowy and wet. I just love the way this looks on bare skin as it is. So now I'm gonna go in and apply that full coverage foundation all over the face. And this is my absolute favorite full coverage foundation. You could wear this for hours and your skin is gonna look amazing and it's not gonna move. It's incredible. So this is definitely gonna last if you're going to a holiday party. It's gonna stay on all night and not move. Gonna go in with some concealer under my eyes just to brighten and add a little bit of coverage. And now I'm just gonna go in and set my face with a pressed powder, and I have been loving this one lately. Just something that gives a little bit of coverage, but mostly just sets everything in will be perfect. So grab whatever powder that you have and set. And now I'm gonna add some bronzer and contour to the face. So I'm just gonna warm up my skin first, and I'm using like a medium matte bronzer just to add a little warmth to my skin. And since we are going to a party and this is more of like a full face look, I am gonna contour and I'm using like a medium shade of contour, just something that isn't too, too deep. I normally don't do this, but I have been contouring a lot lately and I really like the way it looks. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that color and just right by the ear, just wiggle that brush down and blend upwards. Just kind of gives the look of a really sculpted face. Then adding a little bit of like a rosy pink blush on the cheeks is perfect for this look. So pink blush is key. I'm just gonna smile, fake smile of course. And then on the brush along the cheeks. And if it is a lot of blush, you can just calm it down with your powder brush. Just gonna quickly prime my lids for shadow. 
So for this look, I'm going to be doing a completely gold eye look, so I'm not going to be using a whole lot of shades. I am going to pick up a transition color, and I'm just going to grab like a neutral brown color and place that in the crease, just for a little bit of definition, but most of the lid's going to be gold anyway. I'm also going to take some more of that neutral brown on a smaller brush and just add a little bit of smokiness on the lower lash line. So now I'm going to be dipping into a gold eyeshadow and I'm going to be spritzing my brush just using a little primer water. I'm just going to start packing gold like all over the eye. And I'm just taking a larger brush with some more of that gold color on it and I'm blending right into the crease and just all around the eye with that gold shade. And I'm picking up a little bit of a gold highlighter and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the brow bone with that color. Now I'm just gonna finish off the eye with a little bit of gold glitter, some wing liner, and then I'm gonna be popping on some lashes. So now I'm going to be popping on a holiday red lip and this is a glossy finish. It's really, really pigmented but it gives that amazing Christmas red, like a red present shine to the lips. And now I'm going in with some translucent powder and I'm just cleaning up the contour and the bronzer, just placing this along that line. I'm just gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then dust it away. So lastly, I'm gonna be spritzing my face with the Photo Finish Primer Mist from Smashbox. And although this is a primer mist, it's really nice to add like dewiness to the skin. So I'm just gonna spritz my whole face. And I'm going to be going over top of that with the Myrrh Mist from Tarte. So you could use this on your body, in your hair, on your face. And it has shimmer in it, and I do like to do a little bit of shimmer all over the face. So I'm just going to spritz this everywhere. It's very holiday. Alright you guys, this is the final look.